What if she's not ready? We ask for too much of her sometimes. I don't want to make her do anything she's not ready for either. But we all know she's the only one who can face him. Is there anyone else here who has the power to do it? Nico, you're a badass blood witch. What about you? I might not be packing as much firepower in the magic department as we're gonna need. Hate to say it, but she is more powerful than me. Like, way more powerful. Plus, she knows what we're dealing with firsthand. It's gotta be her. What if she doesn't want to? We shouldn't make her. Then one of us needs to convince her. I'll speak to her. When the time is right. If you think she's up to it. We will see. So, is it settled? Meeting over? Yes, Robbie. You're excused. You can go back to playing video games. <laughs> Rad. Because I'm about this close to finally leveling up. Bet you cannot do it before Kathani eats your controller. Oh, you know what, Magic? You're on. Well, crap. I never ran into a steak too chewy for my choppers. Bunazua. Is it hard to live in a building with heroes you once fought? Yeah, never thought I'd be crashing a few doors down from Spider-Man. Now the two of you can bond. I might have an easier time becoming best friends with Blade. Blade does not make friends easily. Exactly. Honestly, Hunter, I feel out of place. Most of the heroes here are classic white hats. My hat's... I don't know, zebra-striped? Eddie, you remind me that sometimes we must take extreme actions to save those in need. Thanks, Hunter. I'm glad someone here understands how I work. You really know how to show an alien suit and its host a good time. Batter, maybe some tartar sauce, and our night is set. Well, we came, we saw, we did a thing. Hey, going for a swing helps clear the cobwebs. You should try it. Oh, Hunter, <laughs> you almost scared me sneaking up on me like that. I did not think anything could scare you. There are a few things. Running out of my favorite kind of peanut butter, joining Captain America for a workout, then realizing it's leg day. That is quite a list. If I'm being honest, there's only one thing I'm scared of right now, and that's facing off against the Hulk. Do you speak from experience? Yeah, it wasn't pretty. I can take a punch with the best of them, but that green behemoth's knuckles hit like a bullet train. Makes my blood run cold. You seem way too relaxed about this. Take it from someone who knows. The Hulk is a fearsome opponent. How did you and the Hulk come to blows? It's complicated. A case of... mistaken identity. How? You each have a distinctive appearance. It's New York. A lot of us freaks blend together. No offense meant, but you need to approach what's coming with a healthy amount of respect. We call him the Hulk for a reason. Before I died, do you know what Hulk meant? I'm guessing it wasn't mean or green. It referred to the broken husk of a ship that ran aground. Even the mightiest vessel capsizes under a torrent of waves. So, we're the waves? We are a fearsome storm of waves. I'd still rather be a Hulk.
Hunter, hello. Ah, I see. Status report on the evac. Hulk tore out the bridges. Roads are gone. No evac happening. We'll get you additional air support. We can fly people out. Uh, that's a negative. Our orders have changed. We're taking a more aggressive stance to secure the country. Secure? You mean you're taking on the Hulk? Roger that. Our squad is moving into position now. No, I told Fury not to launch an assault on Hulk. They're gonna get slaughtered. Listen, Agent... Whatever. This is Tony Stark. You have to call off your assault immediately. The Dark Forces within Banner are only growing stronger with time. Those men are doomed. We're now in attack position. We just don't have a visual on the target. Laying down a I'm perimeter. telling you, get out of there! Wait, there's moving him up. <laughs> it's Hulk! Oh god, no! Man, Earth's so bad right now, not even Galactus would eat us. Or... Maybe we lure Galactus here so Earth might give him a fatal case of cosmic food poisoning. I hate it when people don't listen to me. I hate it even more when people don't listen to me and good people die because of it. I assume you were speaking of Nick Fury. I warned him, Hunter, multiple times. This isn't the Hulk they're used to. This is something more dangerous. Did he listen? No. Did he think he knew better than me? Of course he did. Do you know how you were going to handle the Hulk? Sure. We figure out a way to avoid getting smashed into paste long enough for you to save him like you did with Wanda. If that fails, we shoot him off into outer space. I think everyone's done listening to me right now. This is not your problem alone to solve. Allow everyone to contribute. I know, you're right. It's hard to step back, though. I can fix this, given enough time to think on it. But I should listen to others. Maybe I should call Reed and see if he's got any bright ideas. Or Xavier. Or even Namor. It has been too long. The Hulk is more deadly than he has ever been. Do not forget that. Believe me, I know. But I can't give up. Because more than anything, I just want my friend back. Hopefully Fury is moving Aunt May and MJ to a safe location. Empires hit the Morlocks again. And Dahlia? Taken. So this is the part where we bring her back. I thought you might take some convincing. <laughs> <laughs> you had us at kill vampires. Once we take the Hulk out of the equation, there's nothing to stop us from knocking Cathan's temple down to its foundation. I can think of a few hundred demonic entities and Hydra soldiers who may disagree. Just give Wanda whatever support she needs. We have to stop the Hulk.
by the goddess. Sin's handiwork, no doubt. We should free them before they... This city has had enough of Sin and her pets. She's long past due a reckoning. Bad news. More on the way. That is bad. For them. After the ones holding the keys. Let's get these people out of here. This is intolerable. Sin has gone too far. Leave none of her new kin standing. <laughs> Welcome, assistance. Maybe now you will find peace. Get some! I will deliver you from her crap. Additional Hydro forces in route. Get ready. As if the Morlocks have not endured enough scorn in this city. Sin has proven herself willing to step on anyone to achieve her goals. She'll get what's coming to her. I will make sure of that. <laughs> You are a force to be reckoned with. We're almost here. Hold position! How long has this been going on right under my nose? We have had no shortage of distractions from my mother. This is not your fault. Maybe not, but it sure does piss me off. You chose this path. Now you must follow it. Time to bleed.
her command. Take advantage while they focus on me. The mother provides all we need. We must work faster to free these people. You're the heavy hitter. Throw a hurricane at him. Can she really do that? She can. You were too weak for this fight. Doing so well. The end comes for us all, eventually. Let's do this! I'm impressed. Are you prepared? Never seen that before. Don't get up, even if you can. I'm in your debt, Hunter. We haven't even gotten started yet. Face your end! Maybe you should teach me that one. They are free. Now, where is Sin? What the hell have you done, Vamp? What have I done? 
a work of true genius. Personal alchemies, artifacts acquired over centuries. And blood siphoned from dozens of innocents? Hundreds. Mutant, human, a combined broth. All to fulfill my one purpose. The creation of a vast immortal army that can cross sacred ground that requires no invitation. No flaw, no failure, no death. Just perfection. No stakes. No silver. No weakness whatsoever. Except for me. Enough bravado. My plan was flawless. All I needed was the right filter. be no more running. You will answer for what you've done here and now. Why would we ever run from you? We stand proud. She's right, of course. There will be no more running for our kind. Then this will end here. Tried harder. As a child, I feared the servants of Earth. Now I teach them to fear me. My friend in need. I think you got him. Are you prepared? I am. I think you got him. They still haven't realized their mistake. have come out of this yet. Now, who's angry? They're mine. Who I am? 
give the mother my regards in hell. Your time has come. I thought you were supposed to be powerful. When this is over, your blood will serve as the first of many exquisite meals to come. The Daywalker, a mutant goddess, and... What are you, exactly? Unpalatable. I very much doubt that. Your time has come. Your blood will renew me. Maybe I should be flattered. Your journey is over. Dahlia's powers are a boon to this world. We will reunite her with the Morlocks. Ha! You talk as if we haven't already won! I didn't hear a bell. Neither did I. They brought this upon themselves. In the end, you are all alone. Then so shall it be with you! It seems vampires are vulnerable to lightning. That was half my power. You're all right now. You came back for me. Of course we did. What now? We'll take you home. Wherever you want that to be. You can sleep in my room tonight, Dahlia. What? No, I don't want to kick you out of your own space. Don't worry about it. I can sleep in limbo. Oh, I'm guessing there's no point in arguing with you. <laughs> <laughs> You're smart. Try to get some rest. You need it. In a bit. There's something I need to do first.
Could you stop by later, Hunter? We should talk. How do you feel? Aside from the obvious, I'm all right. Although I've noticed my abilities don't feel the same. I don't know how to describe it, but it's, um... Darker? Yeah. How did you... I have darkness within me, too. I understand what it is like. I... I don't want it to linger. To control me. How do you deal with it? Do not be scared of the darkness. It is not evil. It serves to balance out the light in you. It's kind of hard not to think of darkness as big and scary and bad. Because that is what we are taught. You will learn to harness and control the darkness, just as you do the light. Okay. Well, when you put it that way, it sounds less intimidating. You are not corrupt, and this new feeling will serve to guide you. Thanks. That makes me feel better. You know, <laughs> I'm actually surprised that you all came to rescue me. Don't get me wrong, I'm totally glad that you did. It was just... unexpected. What is next for you, Dahlia? Honestly, I don't know. But for the first time in my life, I get to choose. Everything is up in the air, but... you know, I'm taking it day by day. I'm still cool to talk if you have more questions. Has your opinion of Storm changed? I was really unkind to her in the sewer. I spoke out of anger, and I regret it. The words you spoke held no truth? Yes. And no. It's complicated. But Storm showed up when it mattered. She cares about me and the Morlocks, and she showed it. You should tell her this. I plan on it. How do you feel about leaving the orphanage? Conflicted. On one hand, I hated it. Every day was a reminder that I didn't belong. But I was surrounded by kids who felt the same way, and we became a family. You miss your friends. I do. Leaving them behind sucked. But once I learned about the Morlocks, I knew I needed to help. Then you found another new family. I'm forever grateful they took me in. What are your thoughts on the Morlocks? They're my family. They took me in, and we cared for each other. We're all mutants just trying to get by. They are not wary of you? They were at first. They thought I was one of the X-Men. But once they saw I wanted to help, we built up trust. Is being an X-Men bad? Morlocks are used to being outcasts because of the way they look. There's a misunderstanding between the two groups, you know. Have you reconsidered Storm's offer? <laughs> I was worried about this question. Uh... I have no idea. That is okay. You do not need to know right now. There's still so much about the X-Men I don't know about, and I can't just leave the Morlocks behind. I am sure you will figure something out. Me too. See you later, Dahlia. I hope so. Been meaning to ask, when you woke up and saw a half-vampire in the Abbey, well, was your first thought about killing me? I was not really thinking. You are still here, so my instincts were not to kill you. 
I figured you could tell the difference between me and a blood-sucking freak. I may have pushed you, just to be sure. You deliberately provoked me to see how I would react? Provoke is a strong word. It was more of an aggressive brood. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, well... If I ever... If I become a threat to the rest of you, or to the people out in the world, what I'm asking is, if I lost control, would you stop me? Could you do what needs doing? If you are ever a threat to yourself and others, I will treat you like any other vampire. Good. I don't know how Lilith does her thing, but I refuse to become one of her fallen. If there's ever a question, I want you to know my answer. I understand. All right, then. There better be a next time. Thanks, Hunter. I needed some R&R. &R. Thanks for not skipping leg day with me. Hey, if anybody's gonna understand looking funny, it's me. Tip number one, develop a sick sense of humor. How did it feel when you fought Dracula? How do you think? He's still alive. You were not even the tiniest bit satisfied? All right, it was a little satisfying. But ask me again when I kill the guy. New Breed vampire activity is down worldwide. Not to jinx it, but I think we're winning. Any sign of Dracula or Sin? None. They're off the board. I think we hit him where it hurts. Without them, the few remaining pockets of vampire activity will die out faster than Chewy devours... well, anything. Anything else on your mind? What can you tell me about the Morlocks? I know mostly what you do. They're mutants who live beneath the streets of New York. I read through their S.H.I.E.L.D. file. For the most part, they're harmless. Why does S.H.I.E.L.D. have a file on harmless mutants? Groups of unknown mutants who live off the grid is a thorny subject in this country. I don't like it either, but until that changes, S.H.I.E.L.D. will keep tabs on them. Thanks, Carol. Sure thing. To go through all that and come out the other side just as empathetic. Dahlia's got the chops to be a good leader. Anything else on your mind? Thanks, Carol. Sure thing. You spoke with Dahlia? Yes, I wanted to check in on her. I appreciate you doing that. I spoke with her as well. Oh? About what? I offered Dahlia another opportunity to join Xavier's school. You asked again? Third time's the charm. She said she'd sleep on her decision, so now we wait. <laughs> 